Pastor John W. and Mary James Mims welcomed Z into the world on July 21, 1845 in Logan, Kentucky. With 12 siblings, she came from a huge family. It's interesting to note that her mother and Robert James, Jesse James's father, were first cousins thanks to their relationship. She was named Z after Jesse's mother, as she was widely known. Even though Z was related to Jesse, during his brief stay with family in Missouri in 1865, love grew between the two of them. The James Younger Gang was at its peak during the nine years the couple was engaged. On April 24, 1874, they were finally married at her sister's house in Kearney, Missouri. Tracking down Jesse, while on his honeymoon with his bride Z on the Gulf of Mexico in Galveston, Texas, a St. Louis dispatch writer succeeded where the Pinkertons had failed. Just over a year later, Z gave birth to their first child, Jesse Edward Tim James, on August 31, 1875. Gould and Montgomery, the couple's twins born on February 28, 1878, were tragically either stillborn or passed on that same day. The following year, Z gave birth to a daughter whom they named Mary Susan James on June 17, 1879. By this time, the James Younger Gang had disbanded following the capture of the Younger Brothers during the raid in Northfield, Minnesota in 1876. But Jesse had organized a new James Gang, and they kept robbing trains. The final one happened on September 7, 1881, in the vicinity of Glendale, Missouri. Shortly after this robbery, Jesse relocated his family to St. Joseph, Missouri, where they settled using the alias Tom Howard. With a $10,000 reward on his head, Z urged Jesse to pursue a more ordinary life. Jesse agreed, but not before planning one last major bank heist in Platte County, Missouri. It was during a meeting at Jesse's home with Charles and Robert Bob Ford to plan this robbery that Jesse was fatally shot by Bob on April 3, 1882. Sadly, Z was in the kitchen with her kids when the gunshot happened. Upon hearing the loud blast, young Jesse Jr. rushed into the living room and found his father lying on the floor, blood flowing from his head. Z began to scream, while little Mary burst into tears. Despite Z's frantic efforts to stem the bleeding, it was too late. Her husband was already deceased. Bob Ford had already fled the scene, and Charles attempted to explain to her that the gun had discharged accidentally. After a brief moment, he also left hastily, following his brother. As soon as word of the gunshot spread, people flocked to the house and started talking non-stop about the death of notorious bandit Jesse James. At the age of six, Jesse James Jr. was unaware of the moniker Jesse James, thinking his father's name was Tim Howard and his own was John Davis Howard. Following his death, Jesse's body was preserved with ice and transported by train to Kearney, Missouri, where he was publicly displayed and viewed by hundreds of friends, admirers, and curious onlookers. Eventually, he was laid to rest on the family farm in a plot near the house, allowing Jesse's mother, Zerelda, to keep watch for trespassers or souvenir hunters. After Jesse's death, many believed he had left behind a wealthy widow, but that wasn't the reality. In truth, the only valuables they possessed were a handful of weapons, some stolen jewelry, and various keepsakes. Eventually, most of their belongings were auctioned off to settle debts. This left Z and her children with no choice but to move in with her brother in Kansas City. The children faced even greater hardships as Z battled severe depression following Jesse's death. She wore all black attire and never changed out of it, never remarried, and withdrew from society. Young Jesse James Jr. was compelled to start working at the age of 11 to assist his mother and younger sister. Despite enduring emotional and financial struggles for the remainder of Z's life, she turned down all offers to publish books or share information about Jesse's life. She was buried in Mount Olivet Cemetery in Kearney, Missouri, after her away in Kansas City, Missouri, on November 13, 1900. Approximately 18 months later, her husband's remains were relocated from the James family farm to be buried beside her, where they rest together to this day. After her husband Jesse's death, Z. James found herself in difficult circumstances and could greatly benefit from a little money. She was forced to sell some cherished family mementos to make ends meet.